Good morning, I'm Jesse from thecampingnerd.com and we're out here boondocking, also known as dry camping, by the beautiful Canyon Ferry Lake in Montana. I figured today would be a good day to show you how I keep my trailer battery charged when we're out there far from hookups. So what I use is a portable panel from a company called Renergy. This is a 100 watt panel that's made with 250 watt panels and you can put this away and take it out in a couple of minutes and you don't have to make any alterations to your camper, you don't have to drill any holes just gotta take it out, hook it up to your batteries, which I will show you how to do in just a second. So let me show you how to set this up. It comes with this really good case. It's a hard case, so we actually store other things on top of this too. It's a really durable case. So the panel has some latches. You got undo. Also has a built-in handle that sticks out of the top of the case, so it makes it really easy to carry. As you can see me holding it. So when you open it up, you're going to find this long cable, and this is what we're going to connect to our batteries. There's one uh, red clamp and one black clamp. This is the positive, this is the negative. So all you got to do is connect these MC4 connectors that goes from the solar charge controller to this uh, adapter cable. So we're going to plug the red into the red and the black into the black, and that's all. So there are a few different uh, configurations of this panel. You can either buy it with or without the solar charge controller. If you are gonna plug this directly into a 12 volt battery, you need to get a solar charge controller because it, it prevents overcharging and it will take care of your batteries. Make sure that they're charging at the right voltage. So usually I leave these connectors connected so I don't have to do this every time. So when I take this out in the morning or when we get to a new campsite, all I have to do is open it up and put the legs down. So this stand is mostly to put the panels at a 45 degree angle. You can like adjust them a little bit and uh, either going down here or going this way but it's not gonna change super much. Uh, if the sun is right above you in the summer I should just just putting them straight down on the ground instead instead of angling them. This, uh, this, this stand is mostly useful when the sun is uh, low on the horizon like in the winter or in the morning or in the evening. So I can see where the sun is standing right now because of where my shadow is. And I put it down. <clears throat> I'm gonna take these connectors. So it comes with a 10 foot connection between the charge controller and to where these clamps are. You can also buy extension cables that you're gonna plug into down here. And I'll leave a link in the description to that. And by the way, everything that I show you today, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll also link to a couple of similar panels, both smaller and larger options. So you have some to choose from. So what I have here is two lead acid uh, deep cycle batteries and uh, as you can see they're connected in parallel which means that the negatives are connected to each other and then the positives. So what you want to do with these clamps is that you want to take it and put it on the terminal where the trailer connection is being made. So I can see that there are two connections on this side and only one on this battery. So that tells me right there that this battery is connected to this and then this battery is connected to the trailer. So that's the one I'm gonna put the negative clamp on. Your battery's gonna have a marking on it. So this one says neg. Uh, you might see a minus or a plus. So the black one on negative. Then we're gonna take this red one and put it on the second battery where there are two connections on the positive. As soon as you plug the batteries in, this screen is gonna react. So what it says right now, it's 13.7 volts. But what you gotta do, the first thing you do, but only the first time you set it up, is change it to the correct type of battery that your trailer has. So there's one button that says amp slash volt and there's one button that says battery type. So what we're gonna do is hold the battery type button for three seconds. It's gonna start blinking and if I push that again, it's gonna cycle between the different types of batteries. So since I have flooded batteries, I'm gonna put it to wet. And after a couple of seconds, it will stop blinking and it will show us here on the bottom, it says wet. So now I know that it's set to the correct type of battery. So now let's talk about a couple of questions that you might have. So the first question is, is it waterproof? And yes, it is. The panel and the charge controller is IP65 waterproof, uh, which means that it can take rain and it's not gonna get damaged. We have left it out in storms, like hardcore rainstorms, and we haven't had any issues at all. The way we use this is that when we get to a campsite like this, 
we take it out and set it up and leave it out for the whole week we're gonna be there and we'll even leave it out at night because it's just so much work to take it out and in every day and we've been using this for almost a year now and it's doing just fine one thing I can say though is if it's gonna be really windy like maybe 30 to 40 miles per hour gusts I would either lay it down or store, put it away in the storage bag we did have one blow over and it bent the legs a little bit and that was totally our fault <laughs> so just check the forecast and don't leave it out overnight if it's gonna be really windy another question you might have is if there's a fuse and there is a fuse on this uh, clamp cable on the positive wire so if you're having any issues that the, the charge controller is not recognizing your batteries and the screen is not reacting you might want to check this fuse there might also be a connection problem with these MC4 connectors so make sure that they're connected right and sometimes you really have to push these connectors in for them to connect just be aware of that another question uh, people have about solar panels is whether you have to keep them clean or not and I would say that if they are really dusty and dirty and they've been rained on you should definitely take some Windex and clean them off we have been really impressed because this panel has been really dirty sometimes and it's still been generating like 95% of the power it's capable of it's not always necessary but of course if it is super dirty just get some Windex and clean it off one thing I've been asked by people is also if you can connect this to a pre-wired solar port on your trailer and you can uh, I know about the Furion and the Zamp ports and I think that both are 10 amp ports so that means that you can only connect a 100 watt panel or up to 120 watt panel but you can't go any higher than that and I also want you to be aware that even though you can buy this without the charge controller like I said earlier if you are gonna plug it into directly to a trailer battery or any kind of 12 volt battery you should definitely get this because it will take care of your batteries and so when it's time to pack up and leave camp all you gotta do is unfold the legs and I put it together and like I said I like putting my cable in here sometimes it can be hard to close the latches because the cables fall down on the ground and all kinds of stuff so you can also keep this cable whatever you want of course so I put this cable in here close it up close the latches grab it by the handle put it back in the case and then just zip it up and just like that I'm done so like I said this is a portable solar panel it does weigh 26 pounds and if you think that's heavier, too heavy for you or you just want a lighter option I will leave a link in the description to some of the other types that are lighter If you have any questions about this panel or anything about hooking up solar panels to your camper Let me know in the comments down below And thanks for watching!